Why Bubble.io? Because it's sort of king of the hill when it comes to no code development in the market. So grab that popcorn, let's dive in. In today's video, we're going from Figma to Bubble.io. And it can be a little tricky, it's not as straightforward. So I wanted to show you this tutorial. Before I forget, subscribe to the channel. It keeps it alive. Now back to the show. Here we have our Figma file and you'll have your Figma file too. Now, the thing that you wanna do is go to bubble.io and you wanna sign in to your, and create an account on Bubble. Then you're going to want to create an app from scratch. Now I've already done that with Humdrum. So I'm going to go now to edit that Humdrum app. And this is one of the best ways for you to go from your prototype to real and establish yourself as a UX designer. So the next part, before we get into anything else here, we want to go to settings in the far left. And we want to go to general and we're going to go down to where it says design import. Okay. And next I'm going to show you how to get the API key and the Figma file ID for your Figma file. So we're going to go back to Figma. You should have your own Figma file open. Next is we're going to go to the F in the top left in the browser and go to help an account and we're going to go to account settings in account settings you're going to scroll down to personal access tokens we're going to type in bubble.io and hit enter and we're going to copy this token it goes away so you have to copy it and next we're going to go back to our bubble and we're going to paste that api key in Next, I'm gonna show you how to get the Figma file ID. So the Figma file ID is back here and it's after the file forward slash in the URL. So it's a little tricky. So we wanna go from there to there, just this piece. And you're gonna copy that and come back to bubble and paste that in. Now we can click import. So this will take some time. Now you can only do this once. Uh, so if you make changes on the Figma file, they don't update on Bubble. So make sure it's that moment that you're sure you're ready to move forward. Not everything transfers over smoothly, so keep that in mind. There's going to be some touch up to do, perhaps in another video. Okay, cool. So here we had to come up to this page. We we're on the Instagram Reel page, which really didn't have anything on it anyway back at our, our file. I think it was like a, a demo, just an empty demo. So it imported that Instagram reel blank in there. So uh, we don't really need that. So we can actually trash it. And now I'm just cleaning it up the file. We do want the listening screen and we do want the feed. You see how the feed was imported? Not perfect. We're missing font awesome. Okay, so that's that's something else that happened. But now we know how to import from Figma to Bubble. All right, gang, I hope you enjoyed how to go from Figma to Bubble.io. There's a lot of corners to round and different things to polish. Ugly before pretty, as I always say. Click the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification to be notified about the next one. And in the next one, we'll start cleaning up some of those rough edges. See you there, bye-bye.